Easy Worship 7.4 has just been officially released, and it's now available for download and purchase at easyworship.com. And as always, is a free update for active subscribers. Now, Jared and I are here to tell you all about the new exciting stuff inside Easy Worship 7.4. And there's a lot of it. Yes. If you want to continue learning more about Easy Worship, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new content when it comes out. Easy Worship has so many features that you all know and love, like alternate output, NDI integration, remote app, alpha channel, and the foldback monitor. But with Easy Worship 7.4, we've added a ton of new features like the brand new Song Select by CCLI integration, our premium media integration, MIDI Sync, and the new internal web browser. Now let's not waste any more time and get right into what these features are and how they'll benefit our customers. I don't really think I was wasting time. We've added some amazing integrations to this new version of Easy Worship that we're very excited about. And first up is the brand spanking new Song Select by CCLI integration. CCLI's API for Song Select is so new, we're the first software to use it, humble brag. I know we've had the ability to import lyrics from Song Select in the past, but this is even better and easier. It allows you to import lyrics from Song Select into your database directly from the Songs tab in Easy Worship. This is something that's been requested by our customers for a hot minute, and we are incredibly proud of our developers and CCLI for helping to bring it to our customers. To access this, simply go to the Songs tab, then click on Song Select. If it's your first time here, you'll be prompted to sign in. If you want to stay signed in, be sure and check the box. Once you get signed in, you'll see the top songs from Song Select show up. Either select the song you want to use from that list, or use the search at the top to find the song you want and select it. Then simply click Import on the right side, and then click View in Library to jump to that song in your library. It's that simple. Now, if you're an active premium subscriber or a soon-to-be premium subscriber, you can now access thousands of pieces of premium media directly from the Media tab within our new premium media integration. Now, simply click on the Media tab in Easy Worship, and then click on Premium Media. Now, from here, you can browse through all the premium media available in our store, select what you want to import, and click Import on the right. Or hover over the media you want and click the download icon on the thumbnail. If you want to use it right away, click on the right side where it says View in Library, and it'll take you directly to that piece of media in your library. So quick! And we've also made it very easy to find the media you're looking for using our search functionality. Use the search on the left, or use the quick filters at the top to specify the category, media type, topic, and service section. And when you want to reset all the filters, click the Reset Filters button in the top right corner. Great news! We've updated the web browser in Easy Worship. What this essentially does is allow you to simply use the web browser in Easy Worship again to display anything you want from the web. This could include your church website, YouTube videos, or Vimeo videos. The great thing about this new browser is that if you need to pull up something quickly, you don't even have to schedule it first. To get to the new web browser, click Web on the toolbar, and then click the Web tab. From here, type in the URL that you want, and voila. Once you get to the page you want to display, either click Go Live to send it directly to your live output, or click the Schedule button in the top right corner to send it to your schedule for quick repeat access. Then during your service, it's ready to go live when you are, as long as you have an active internet connection, which is pretty vital. Yes. Another major feature that we've added in this update is MIDI Sync. Using simple terms, MIDI Sync is basically a server client type connection where you can have schedules ready on multiple computers on a network and run all of them from one computer. In previous versions, Easy Worship had the ability to receive MIDI cues from other programs or hardware to advance the slides automatically. Now, we've added the capability to send default MIDI cues out so you can control Easy Worship schedules on different computers on the network. Now, to be able to use MIDI over your Wi-Fi network, you'll need to install a utility called RTP MIDI. 
Now we've already done a couple of videos about using MIDI input with Easy Worship, and there's a help article about the initial setup, so we'll link to those in the description. Now after getting the computer set up on the network and connected with RTP MIDI, you can set up the MIDI control in Easy Worship. Click on the remote button on the toolbar in Easy Worship and hover over MIDI and create a new control. You can create an input and an output on each computer if you want, but you at least need the output control set up on the computer that you'll be operating from and input set up on any computer that you will receive the MIDI cues. Now for MIDI output control, give it a control name and select the MIDI output device. Now this will be the name of the session you gave this computer in RTP MIDI. Then click OK. On the other computers for the MIDI input control, give it a control name and select the MIDI input device. Now this will be the session name of the computer you're setting up the input MIDI control on. Then click OK. Now when you go live on the MIDI output computer, any computer set up with the MIDI input control will also go live. Now whenever you advance the slides, it will also advance on the input computer, so you're synchronously controlling the schedules on each computer from one computer. That makes sense. Now, this is actually really helpful if you have two computers that are wanting to run the same schedule. So if one computer is for the live stream and the other is for the in-house screens, but each schedule has different themes and formatting, and maybe even different backgrounds, you're able to keep them in sync and only need one person to operate it, which can be really handy if you're a volunteer-run church. Another way to use it is if you want to display two different languages at the same time. You could have the same schedule on both computers, but one is in English and the other is in Flemish. Now, something else I did want to mention that we added to Easy Worship 7.4 is support for HX2 and HX3 NDI cameras. Now, if you have these newer cameras and want to create feeds with them using NDI, now you're able to do it. And that's everything for the 7.4 update. We are incredibly proud of our development team and how hard they've worked to make this update awesome and to bring it to you guys as quickly as possible. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe and click that little notification bell below so you get all of our other content. Thank you guys for watching. And thanks for choosing Easy Worship.